Garside Gardens is a new community-based maple syrup operation on St. Joe's Island that's choosing to make the Canadian staple the old-fashioned way. The Garsides have been producing syrup since the 1940s and believe pure goodness takes a little more time. Uh, I am actually the fourth generation of uh, Garside to uh, uh, making maple syrup here. And we basically, uh, we, we run everything through wood-fired evaporators. We don't, uh, we don't use any mechanical means to, uh, to uh, break the, uh, the water and the sugars apart. We, uh, we actually use a wood-fired preheater and uh, we think the taste makes a difference here. You basically, you, you tap the trees when uh, the temperatures reach above zero. Uh, the trees start to run their sap up to make leaves for the, for the spring and we, we uh, capture some of that sap. We, we draw it from the trees with lines and a vacuum system. The sap all flows to uh, one central location and it gets pumped into our holding tanks. And from our holding tanks is gravity fed into our evaporators. Um, which are hopefully running 24-7. This year we have 613 trees on tap. We should get 613 liters, uh, roughly a liter per tap. Um, you can improve that with uh, high efficiency uh, systems and, and products and that, but uh, as it stands, we, we hope to at least make the, the one liter per tap mark. Um, and it, it also basically depends on what mother nature gives you. She calls the shots and uh, we take what we get. Janice Herridge is the Garside Gardens general manager and is no stranger to the forest. Some people believe that a monoculture is the best way to go for a sugar bush. Um, that way all the competition is reduced and the maples get all of the good stuff that's in the soil. But we here think that there is some great advantage to having diversity within the forest. So we keep our birches, we keep our basswoods, we keep our ironwoods and beaches and everything else that we have here to allow nature's natural process to continue uh, without interfering too much. Marketing Director Cody Rydell offers insight about the upcoming steam whistle release with Garside Gardens. It's a little bit of a secret actually because we kind of want to do a, a release at the same time with, with steam whistle. But I will say that it is a combined maple product that you will be pouring on your pancakes or pouring into your coffee and it will have the essence of steam whistle in it and it's going to be double premium definitely double premium Cody knows the important role firewood plays at the Garside Gardens operation with our process putting wood in the fire is definitely one of the one of the top priorities you gotta keep wood in the fire that's how it, that's how it happens For more information on Garsai Gardens, you can visit their Facebook page, facebook.com slash Garsai Gardens, or by calling 705-246-1398. For Ghost of St. Marie, I'm Michael Babcock. It's Cody. This is Mike. Janice, here at Garsai Gardens. And you're watching Shaw TV.